You're now listening to the female hosted podcast, Drea's Point of View. All episodes are 10 minutes or less, three days a week. The Pod Breed Network is strictly for the small podcasts that are up and coming in the vast world of podcasting. Podbreed is made up of many diverse podcasts coming together to achieve the same goal of being the best damn podcast network on the planet. Find out more at podbreed.com. When I moved to Los Angeles over a decade ago, I was big on the touristy spots like the Fashion District, which I may review later, Hollywood Boulevard, of course, and The Grove. For those of you who plan to visit Los Angeles, I think it's worth a stop. I'm Drea, your hostess of Drea's Point of View. You can find me at Drea's Point of View on Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, and Clubhouse. If you're a Twitter fan, you can find me at Drea Point. It's been about 10 years since I went to the Grove, and the only reason I went recently was because I was staying nearby. Let me explain something about L.A. And like most cities that take you 20 minutes or so to get to the other side of town, it's a hike to get anywhere here. You almost have to make a day out of it. And to be honest, the Grove is a bit out of my league. <laughs> it's a nice outdoor mall, which is an upscale version of Bridge Street in Huntsville. This time of year is the best time to go because they put up a large tree. They have a house with Santa inside and plenty of other decorations to enjoy. They have a lot of pop-up installments, which are worth checking out. I saw one with Elton John since he had his last performance in Los Angeles. There were some shoulder bags, shirts, and even his eyewear collection. There's also a train that goes through that center. There's a Barnes & Noble, a Nike store, a Netflix pop-up, and a very good pizza spot that has a sister location in London. I believe it's called Chill 1963. My favorite part about the Grove is the farmer's market that is attached to it. They have every type of food you can imagine and some good bakeries as well. There's the world's oldest toy store, comic book spot, and a shoe repair place located inside. You can definitely get lost in there, but it's definitely worth walking through. Right across from that is CBS Studios, so you can enjoy a show taping and make a day out of it. It's a good place to kill time and a spot you should definitely put on your bucket list. Parking can be a nightmare, so I suggest that you hop in a ride share or take advantage of the metro that stops all around it. Before I let you go, I want to make sure that you are subscribing to my show so that you are not missing any of my episodes. I thank you for listening. This has been Drea's Point of View. Leave a review, tell a friend, and make sure you subscribe to Dreyer's Point of View. Until next time.